When Al Anderson began tagging and releasing large portions of his catch, other skippers were baffled by this charter captain, who was sacrificing economic gain for scientific data. But Anderson was convinced his practices would make a difference in the future of fisheries, especially of those species most desired by his own customers and other anglers in the Atlantic. Al's family was responsible for his love of the sport. He spent school lunch hours fishing with his mom in a nearby river, and his aunt and uncle took him striped bass fishing on New Jersey's beaches. At Fairleigh Dickinson University, Al often arrived late to biology class, wearing waders and carrying buckets of trout, which he later filleted in the lab sink. More than five decades ago, as a graduate student at Adelphi University, Anderson marked his first fish using a copper wire tag he devised, and a few years later, he began fishing saltwater. Al marked his first striped bass for the American Littoral Society in 1967 and has since become their most successful tagger with almost 51,000 game fish. That same year, he met Frank Mather, founder of the Bluefin Tagging Program at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and began tagging tuna for him. Anderson was then charter fishing part-time aboard the Prowler out of Wakefield, Rhode Island. In the early 1980s, after a 20-year teaching career, charter fishing became Al's full-time vocation. Through the years, Anderson has faced critics of his conservation beliefs, but he's remained resolute about tagging not only tuna and striped bass, but also marlin, sharks, and bottom fish. These fish that we caught at Block Island as young of the year actually came from Mediterranean spawning parents, uh, which is uh, very difficult for the scientific community to... to uh, to understand right now. Uh, <laughs> it, it's raising an, an awful lot of questions. Um, but I've had more transatlantic bluefin tuna recaptures, so I'm told, uh, than anyone else that uh, has been tagging these fish. Wow. Uh, uh, but, then, but then again, I've been tagging bluefin tuna for 40 years. According to the National Marine Fisheries Service, Al has tagged more Atlantic bluefin and has more recaptures than anyone in the world. In 1977, he began working with Jack Casey's shark tagging program and later with additional agencies. Today, the total number of game fish tagged by Al Anderson stands at more than 57,000. Al has shared his vast knowledge in five books and hundreds of articles. He's been an IGFA representative since 1989, and that same year won his first of 13 AFTCO Tag a Tuna for Tomorrow awards. In 2011, Al was one of five recipients of Sport Fishing Magazine's Making a Difference Award. According to Captain Al, it's his Prowler Charter clients who are responsible for his achievements. From the very beginning, they understood and appreciated his commitment to quality angling and supported his conservation ethic of tagum for science. Some guys just put the same umbrella lure in the water day in and day out, and do the, go to the same place and do the same thing every day. I go out of my mind. That was me. Al Anderson began doing things his way at a time when success was still being measured by how many dead fish were on the dock at day's end. He has played a major role in the scientific understanding of migratory fishes, earning a reputation as one of the era's greatest and most humble charter captains along the way. For his invaluable efforts on behalf of our fisheries and their future, the IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame salutes Al Anderson.